Welcome to MSPN. I'm Robert Brunson, along with my sidekick here, Tim Ward. We're here to do our weekly show, MSPN, on bison football level, which we don't have a good season so far, Tim, and uh, been some pretty good games going on. But we're here with our weekly picks. We're here to highlight some of the uh, plays that uh, went on last week, the last two weeks, and uh, get things rolling. So, Tim, anything you want to say to the people today? <laughs> Well, so far, like you said, it has been an exciting season. Um, there's been a couple of, I want to say upsets, but you see some teams that uh, have first week show a little promise, struggle a little bit now. Some of them that were struggling the first week, that show a little promise. So I think it just shows a lot about the uh, the balance in, uh, in my side and how much uh, I believe the rest of the season coaching is going uh, to come into play. Coaching definitely going to come into play now and everything. And as we get closer and everything, I just want to remind everyone out there that everyone should have their cards and stuff uh, straightened out now. If a player don't have a card, no, the player don't play. So I want to put that out there, though. So there's no need to call me on Saturdays about cards and everything. So if you need cards straightened out, you need to do it by Wednesday of the week before and everything. But we're going to have some exciting games going on this weekend. We're going to uh, we're gonna have a, a game down in Natchez this week and another game in Vicksburg this week. But we're going to start our picks off with the first game of the day would be the Giants and the Jet versus the Jaguars. And now that's going to be a good game, James, uh, of Tim. Because, yeah. Tim, the Jaguars is on the high. Right. The Giants is on the high. Right. Now, the experience will tell you that you know, the, the Giants coach a little more experience. But some of the Jaguars coach have more, more championships mm -hmm. and everything. But So on the A-team level, I'm going with the Giants. You know what? I, uh, I agree. I'm going with the Giants of the 18 too. Okay, and the don't be scared of that. <laughs> the main reason I'm going with them, you know, it, it's funny, you know, people talk about Natchez B team. You know, we talk about the superstar. You know, everybody said, well, there's one play you got to shut down. Mm -hmm. To me, the Jaguars 18 was kind of the same way. You know, you got to start roughing. You know, uh, uh, a couple weeks ago, he had uh, 19 carries for 200 yards. Yeah. But he also had interception and a punt return for a touchdown. So, he can hurt you not just on offense, but defense and special teams. That's right. But I think Montre knowing it, being a defensive-minded coach, he's going to make somebody else have to beat him. And I'm not sure right now if the Jags have anybody else they can. Oh, no. You got to beat all 11 Giants on the field. So, And on the, on the B team level, I'm going with the Jags. I'm going with Rock. You know what I'm saying? I'm going with the Rock of Ages. <laughs> you know, it, ain't nothing changed. You no, know, he's still just pounding it on you. He's still just you know, providing good defense. And also, I mean, it'd be crazy to go anywhere else but with the Jaguars on that pick and everything. Yeah, same for me too. The B team, uh, Jaguars. On the C team, you know, Giants C team been struggling this year. And the Jaguars C team, they, they've been consistent enough to keep winning. So I'm rolling with the Jag C team. Man, Jags going to blast them this weekend. I'm going to put it out. <laughs> you know, so prove me wrong, Giants. But but uh, I think the Giants have a young C team for a, six, a lot of six-year-olds on it. And everything, so they got another year or so for you know get some experience in and everything. They're gonna beat somebody, but it won't be the Jags this week though. Be they won't be the Jags. So in this game we have um, South Jackson 49ers and, and the KP Cowboys on the 18. Who you going with? 18, you know, hey man, how about them Cowboys? That's the best way I can say it on 18. You know, 49ers, you know, they 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 had a chance to knock off the Redskins, but they fell short. You know, but I. Their offense is, is okay. I still haven't seen them just beat, beat anybody yet. All their games have been close. Well, the 49ers did play a good game last week, but you got to take into fact of all the penalties that uh, Redskin had and, and the couple touchdowns called back. Mm -hmm. So I think the show was still on. Them. But I think KP, Steve got those guys a little more focused this year. They you know they played for a championship and didn't come up you know, on the right side of it. But I think KP going to be you know, a team to beat this year. So I think I'm going with KP. Okay. On the B team, <clears throat> you know what? I got to go with Roach in, in, in the B team, man. He Roach, Roach seemed like he on a mission this year. You know, he's been kind of quiet. You know, he come in, he on the field. He not really been in the stands, waving, doing autographs this year. He just been kind of just coming out and uh, coaching. Man, I'm telling you this way. I'm going with experience. I'm going with the 49ers. Because just like you said, Coach Roach looked more focused this year. He looked like a lot of stress off of him this year and everything. So I'm going with the experience. I know this guy can coach. And so I think that uh, on his B team, I think they're going to run away with it. I think the 49ers are going to run away with it. Okay. And on the C team, you know, the 
the 49ers C team, they, they, if I remember right, they've lost the last two games. But, you know, KP is still struggling. And the 49ers do have some uh, veteran C team coaches. So, I got to go with the 49ers C team. Man, Omar and no pause down on the C team. Gonna blast this game. <laughs> they're they gonna blast the game. I think it's you no know, this time they kind of break through now, and I think they kind of like were tested last week. But I think they're gonna do good this week, and I'm I'm going with those 49ers. Okay. And uh, over at St. Joe, <coughs> excuse me, uh, on the 18, you know, to me, we gotta. Uh, oh. <laughs> man, we, we gotta act, we gotta be impartial on TV, man. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, though, hey, I'm already telling you that, though. Yeah. Hey. On the 18, you know, after the week Rico just had, you know, I talked to him about the game. He's like, man, we try to get the game away. So, yeah. you know, I, I think it's going to be a hard practice for them guys this week. He's going to make sure, you know, those, those penalties definitely go go, go escaping. Oh, I hate to be at their practice come this week, though, because <laughs> all the penalties he got in the touchdown call, back drop passes in the end zone, and, I know, I know he's going to really work those boys this week and everything, but, hey, the Bears going to play strong, but I got to go with the Redskins. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, can't, can't, can't go against The B-team game is a little interesting to me because you got Stan, you know, coming over, you know, doing his thing. You know, in the last couple weeks, they've lost some games that I know he probably felt they should have won. I can't remember the last time Stan had a two-game losing streak, man. Right. So, you know, then the Redskins, though, Overtime victory, yeah. You know, hey, I think they, they you know, there could be momentum that they need. So, I'm riding away. I'm going with Chuck and the Redskins on the B team, man. Well, that's that's why I have to spit in the road right there because Chuck them did a good job for going for the win last week, still at the top and their thing. But it goes back to show you how good Coach Broughton coach that he held the ball all third quarter on their defense and most of the fourth quarter. So I'm going with, with, with Stan with a slow driving team with the Bears on this one and everything. I can't see Stan losing three in a row and everything. So, you no know, Chuck and the boys are going to have to eat their weeds this coming Saturday because, you no know, Stan is out for a win. So, All right. And uh, on the C team, you know, ooh, to me this is tough because, you know, good game. Boy, you know I, got, I got the Bears speaking to the Super Bowl, man. You know, you know, ooh, hey. you know it, yeah. ooh. if you go lose, well, you're ready to lose in the regular season instead of the playoffs naturally. You know, but and Larry got the guys looking good. But I'm sticking with the Bears for this reason right here. Larry's defense been scoring on a couple times this year. Now, I don't know if it's because he got everybody else playing the third or fourth street playing, but he's been scoring on a couple times. Man. That's this old thing that worries me. I, it, it's tough. I, I almost want to pick a tie, but since I got to pick one, give me the Bears. Man, I'm going with Yogi and Boo Boo. I'm going with the Bears, baby. I'm, I think the Bears on the mission there are more. Uh, they, they, they wins are wins, no, and everything. They, they, there's no like no fluke wins or nothing like that. I think the, the Bears are gonna be a, a, a C team to beat. I'm going with the Bears on that one. Broncos and Titans. Now the Broncos and Titans, 18. Now the Titans last week tied with the Panthers, so that's a big mission statement that hey. Y'all gonna beat up on us a couple of weeks. We tired this week. It's time for a win come this week. So I'm going with Coach Evans over there with the Titans this week for for upset victory on the Broncos on the 18th. Uh yeah. No. <laughs> come on, Barry. Make make good for you, boy. Now make good for you, boy. We go. I'm going with the Orange Crush, man. You know, Barry. You know, last couple of weeks, you know, his team been getting better and better. You know, they won last week. Broncos, man. Hey, but I, I understand you, you know, but I, I'm going with the Titans. They showed me something that hard, you know, is is, is, is in, in no kids. So in in hard uh, play, hard practice, they're gonna come out on top. Now on the B team level, that, that's up in the air out there because Bronco B team really hadn't no jailed yet. So I'm going with the Titans on the B team. So Titans, you got two picks from me. Don't let me down. Hmm. Yeah, the brain freeze. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, if it was bad or uniform, I would go with the Titans. <laughs> but since they got to play football, I'll go with the Broncos. <laughs> they go on Orange County. <laughs> now, on the C team level now, I got to go with those Broncos on the C team. The Broncos went down to Vicksburg, got that more win, and, and they, they, they scored a lot of points. I think he got, them, got those guys in place who need to be aware. So I'm going with Barry and them with the, with the Broncos C team. CT, yeah, I'm, I'm sticking with Bear. I'm, I'm going for an Orange County sweep this week. 
Orange County, all the way, huh? All the way this way. All the way to Orange County. <laughs> Better get this man a jersey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we go up to uh, Vicksburg again. We got the Colts going to Vicksburg this week and everything. Now, I'm going to make it easy for you. Colts had not won. Neither had Vicksburg. Yeah. The Falcons, you know, they, they merged and everything. Right. But I'm going to make it easy. I'm going to give you my two picks on these. I'm going with the Colts A and C team. To pull it off. Coach A and C. A and C team to pull off. I'm going with Vicksburg B team. I'm going with the Vicksburg Falcons B team. You know what, man? I like the Coach A team to win, to get their first victory. Campbell, baby. Yeah, I know that. He's going to have to get loose this week, baby. He's going to get loose. He's going to have to get loose. I'm going Juice with, is loose. I'm going with, with the Coach A. But, um. Mm, you know what? It's probably gonna be the only time I do it this season. I'm going with a cold sweep. There we go. Go with a cold sweep. Go with a cold sweep. Man, oh, Tran, you hear that? B team, y'all didn't wake up on that <laughs> and everything. But I'm, I'm going to A and C. Now we're going to Natchez, Mississippi. We got the Panthers going down there to play against the Falcons. Now they're gonna be a good game. Now both of them, A team, been struggling and everything. But believe it or not, I'm going with Natchez A team to kick the Panthers to sleep. Now, the Titans laid them down last week. Now, the, the Falcons are going to come kick them to sleep. Kick them to sleep? To sleep. Not just beat them, but Not just beat them, kick them to sleep. You know what? You know, it's... it's Next they, they're 18, you know... There's a bird. Yeah. <laughs> after what I saw Saturday, you know, they... The one thing that the Panthers can't do it's score. Oh, no, they can't score? They can't score. So, you know what? Being at home, being the momentum, I'm going to roll with Natchez 18. Natchez, baby, Natchez. <laughs> now, on the B team level, it's going to be another good game. Oh, yeah. You know, we bad. got uh, the um, the event. I call him from Natchez. You no, know, he's the show. <laughs> and they're saying, number 18, you know, everybody knows what I'm talking about. If he get loose, it's over. hey, it's over with. You know, you talk about three, four touchdown lead. If he get loose and everything, but... He going against Rico. Those squirrels, we got the squirrel down there. So he going against them. The defense is going to be solid, and the B team can score. Really? So I haven't seen that just come from behind and no score. So I'm going with the B team Panthers on that one. Yeah, uh, it's, it's hard to get, it's, it's hard to go against the showstopper, you know. But kind of like I said earlier about the Jaguars, you know, when good teams know you got one player oh, yeah. to stop, one they they gear toward them. So with that. I got, I got to roll with the Panthers B team, too. Right. Now, the C team is up in the air, but it's one of those if games. Yeah, yeah. If anybody can score, they're going to win. <laughs> like I told you in the first week when the Panthers played uh, Kearney Park C team, whoever fall forward, going to win. The Panthers won by two points and everything. But on this C team game, I'm going with Natchez. I'm going with Natchez because I think Natchez showed me a little more solid team over there when they played against the Giants and everything. They struggled the first half, but they came back to, to play. But... Panthers won Saturday, but they're, they, but I think they're not they're not ready for uh, for a Natchez team yet on the C team. These don't seem like the the deep, but it's not the Panthers C team we used to see. Oh no! Nah. So you know with with that see like they're still trying to get their identity, and Natchez is progressing. So yeah, you know and and, and if memory serves me, they scored 16 on the Redskins. That's right. So you know hey, I gotta roll with Natchez C team too. Right. So. So there you have our picks this week and everything. If you don't like my picks, prove me wrong. Win. <laughs> win. So you want me to pick you win and everything. But I think it's going to be some good games. I think some upsets going to be in the making this, this week, especially down in Natchez. And, uh, put, and, and like Tim said, he thinks the coach going to do a sweep this week. So, uh, Coach Earl, y'all, y'all, hey, y'all listen to Tim. It's your time, Come up baby. fire. Come up fire in this area. But it's going to be some exciting games and everything, guys. I appreciate everything everybody doing. We have uh, a lot of minor in injuries this week and everything, but everything's coming out a little better. Keep the guys hydrated. Keep water on the sidelines. Don't, and don't take no timeouts home, which is use them. Get those guys you know, refreshing out there. Tim, you but, got anything to close? Well, as long as you use the timeouts for refreshment and not run up the scope.
Put the oh, G yeah. up. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. And that's another thing we're going to talk about, too. No, if you're running up the score, we got so many second left in the game and everything. I think we have could have been a major injury Saturday. You know, Coach could have just took a knee. We have a kid injured at the last play of the game and everything. Well, it shouldn't have to be in a play, you know. We end up have to call the ambulance and stuff like that. But we're hoping the kid, you know, pull through and come out okay and everything. But sometimes you can't be so greedy, guys. Win is a win. It don't matter how many points you win by. A win is a win. You stay in the win column, you're gonna make the playoff and everything. So, uh, so just be mindful there that these are kids and we want to keep them safe out there. All right. Well, that's pretty much it. That's been this week for you uh, for MSPN and uh, I'm Till Ward, Robert Brunson, and we'll be seeing you soon. Risky. <laughs> <laughs>